Hello. So today I'm going to talk to you about menopause. Menopause is a very important phase in the woman's life. It is a phase where her reproductive capabilities start reducing and her hormonal levels start dropping. As a result of which she can have a lot of physical as well as emotional symptoms. Now conventionally she is made to believe that menopause is something which uh, is like a disease or it's something like an illness and it's it needs to be treated very very aggressively but actually uh, there are many cultures in the world where the woman does not suffer from the physical and emotional symptoms that women in the west do now when scientists have tried to study this they have found that many cultures in many cultures there is a belief that this is a period of gain a period of gain meaning that the woman has gained a lot of maturity and she has uh, seen all the thicks and thins of life so she is a more mature more wise woman capable of giving advice to the younger generation this makes a huge difference to the overall health of of women in this culture and we see that they do not suffer from the uh, conventional symptoms of irritability or um, breast tenderness and uh, other uh, hot flushes and other symptoms that uh, women in the west generally do now in the west a woman is al- always made to believe that since her reproductive capabilities are reducing since her hormones are dropping as a result she is of no use anymore and this is considered as a period of loss for her now when this is imbibed in her mind she starts uh, developing symptoms like anxiety like irritability and many other symptoms associated with the uh, depleting hormones the key is to try and find a balance uh, of course there are a lot of treatments available for uh, various symptoms that a woman can go through and uh, again conventionally hormone replacement therapy is something that is suggested now these hormone replacement therapy uh, what is done is that artificially prepared hormones which uh, have a similar molecular structure to the hormones that are present in a woman's body so these artic- artificial uh, hormones are prescribed and many a times we see that women do not adjust to these hormones they have a lot of symptoms as a result of uh, taking hormone replacement therapy tablets uh, so on the other hand if she uh, tries to uh, go for natural resources the natural uh, natural resources uh, like changes in her diet like um, the uh, uh, homeopathic remedies that uh, that she can take during this time all these lead to stimulating her vital force and stimulating a process uh, in her body whereby the hormones that are getting depleted are secreted naturally so if you see uh, the uh, nature is uh, in nature the woman's body is designed in such a way that at the time of uh, menopause uh, when uh, she gets depleted with the uh, eggs or the ovum and um, uh, as a result of which the follicular stimulating hormone levels drop or the estrogen levels drop and the ovaries start uh, to reduce their function in nature there is already a mechanism to take care of this and the adrenal glands in women and the fat cells that they have start taking the role of production of estrogen so our idea should be to try and stimulate these adrenal glands and these fat cells to uh, secrete more and more hormones naturally because whatever is produced in her body naturally is going to suit her better than those artificial hormonal pills the other problem with the artificial hormonal pills is that it is uh, known to be uh, causing a risk of developing cancer or uh, uh, deep vein thrombosis and there are many other conditions associated with the overuse of hormonal treatment so the idea that i am talking about here is to try 
and encourage women to stimulate a natural process within them. So how can this be done? This can be done by simple techniques as uh, following certain changes in her, uh, in her daily routine, the exercise, the uh, nutrition. This needs to be um, seen with great interest. So what needs to be done is if you really want to stop suffering from the various symptoms of menopause like hot flushes and anxieties and depression and so many other symptoms that are there, the best thing that you can do is uh, start eating healthier foods. Take, take a balanced diet. For example, stop eating a lot of processed food and sugar. A lot of bakery products, refined food, processed food and sugar tend to interfere with the hormonal balance. So you just stop that. Instead, start eating whole grains uh, and um, choose fresh fruits. Uh, there are a lot of food products like um, the uh, seeds, for example. A lot of these seeds uh, like the pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds and flax seeds have a lot of phytonutrients which can uh, help you stimulate the estrogen production in your body. So make this small change and see the benefits. A regular exercise will keep you healthy, keep your uh, vital energy flowing well and when your vital energy is flowing well, you will have better hormone production. The other thing that I really want to emphasize is a lot of women feel that having excess, uh, having uh, fat is not, not very good. But please understand that the key is to have balance. Too much of fat is bad and too little fat is also bad. Why? Because as we see, as, as I've said earlier, that the fat cells also help in estrogen production. So if you don't have enough fat cells in your body, your estrogen production at menopause is not going to be very good. So uh, the essential thing to understand is that balance, finding the balance is very, very important. Of course, there can be situations where you can have a lot of physical symptoms like excessive bleeding or pain or irregular cycles. And some women tend to develop fibroids and so on. Many a times you may have hot flashes or uh, you may feel a lot of anxiety during this period and uh, uh, it, may, uh, uh, it may be that you get very, very irritable and so on. But for all, all these kind of symptoms, uh, there are natural therapies available. Homeopathy is one of the best uh, forms of treatment where the entire person is considered as a whole, the physical, mental, emotional, all the symptoms are considered and remedies are prescribed. These remedies are absolutely safe as they are produced from natural resources. So whenever you uh, feel there is a need, please try and select one of these natural resources, make a change to your lifestyle and I'm sure that you will go through this phase in a very smooth manner. In my subsequent uh, videos, I will be discussing with individual problems during menopause. So there are issues like osteoporosis, there are issues like uh, hot flushes, etc. And how certain kinds of foods and certain kind of techniques can help you overcome these symptoms. That is what I'm going to talk in my subsequent videos. Till then, take care. Goodbye.